to return for the title coverage all week long. Our Michelle Lee picks up coverage tonight in Indy. And Michelle, we've got you shooting jump shots down there tonight. <laughs> Things are really getting, getting exciting as we get closer to the big game. I'm kind of embarrassed that you're going to see that, but uh, we know the team has been pretty busy today and so are several other students who are taking in the final four. In all, 29 band members are here along with 12 students from cheer and dance plus one Bucky Badger. Today we caught up with them as they got a tour of the Indy Speedway and though they were having a lot of fun, they are all focused on taking down Kentucky. We really want to come back. I mean, last year we kind of ended on a sour note, which it was great that we went as far as we did, but we always want one more win because, I mean, when you have that chance, and so when you're so close, you end up losing by one, uh, you want a chance to get that win back, and so that's what we're here this weekend. Absolutely, and these students are really enjoying their time here because, get this, they are on spring break. So, you know, they're used to studying every day when they're on the road, but this week they are scot-free. And uh, Danica Lewis has been talking to someone, speaking mm -hmm. of band and people, mm -hmm. you know, enjoying the fan experience. You met one guy who's been really doing this for, like... I don't know, several decades. Uh, yeah. yeah. Helping with the fan experience. Yeah, quite <laughs> yeah. Ohio, Michelle. And, you know, we've been talking about the Badger basketball team so much. They've had to put in hours upon hours upon hours of practice to get where they are this weekend. But uh, the guy I met today, he's had to put in quite a bit of practice as well, just in a slightly different way. Take a look. When I approach a IU or a Purdue fan, I say, Thank you. Why? For allowing Wisconsin to go to the Rose Bowl or the whatever it might be. They don't like that, but it's fun anyway. It's the only badger colors waving on the block. <coughs> the only W-clad pants. 40 pounds. <laughs> and the only Fred and Alice Hecker. We're crazy people, aren't we? <laughs> around. Who, who else would wear pants like this? If the attire and the personality weren't loud enough. Um, ba, ba. Um, ba, ba. It's kind of a dying art. There's the dying art that Fred brought from home to Indy. It takes years to master it. Fred picked up the accordion in first grade, playing paid part of his way through undergrad and master's degrees at UW. Zing, boom, terrero, bring out a song of good cheer. Now it's time to roll the barrel for the gang's all here. Our big dates was while he was playing, these farmers would be out there swirling me around so I was totally dizzy. Trips around the dance floor to the final four and Rose Bowls. So we had uh, fun times with it. And now he plays at tailgates, alumni functions, or whenever someone asks, because everyone knows Fred Hecker's soundtrack. And I have a saying, it's hard to be humble when you're from Wisconsin. You just have to smile. I mean, there's nothing else to do. Well, Fred is in his 80s, so I had to ask him, what is your favorite, your best memory of your time at UW? He had a good one. Back in 1953, he went to the Rose Bowl, and while most of us now, you know, fly out there or take a fun road trip, he took a student train, a two to three day trip on the train. And yeah, you probably guessed it. He took his accordion along and just went up and down and up and down the cars and played for everybody, Michelle, some polka, and of course some on Wisconsin. So wow. such a pleasure to meet those two today. I really appreciate them inviting me into their home. What a couple. What a couple. You know, we've met some really incredible people. Really? We haven't even got into the game no. yet, no. but I think that's my favorite story yeah. so far. They are he's, very sweet. And Thanks, he's guys. silent. Oh, those W's. I mean, in that <laughs> necklace, Alice, yeah. you got you to gotta hook me up. Yeah. You got to hook me up. That's great. <laughs> great story, Danica.